it's me Sophie so the first camera I had the very first camera I had was the actually do the first camera I had was da 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 and get it down So, first camera I had was like this one. It's a so if you, actually the first camera I had was this one. And so this was the first camera I had. And it was pretty much, you know, your bog standard. It's a Samsung bog standard 5HD one. This, this one, this camera was the first camera I had. And then I upgraded it to this camera, which is a Fuji X, EXR camera, which still works. Um, but I'm going to use this for like... For like when I'm out and about and I'm vlogging. So you guys will probably see this one for when I'm vlogging. Out and about with my friends. This one for when I'm out and basically I'm out and about with like when I'm on holiday. You guys will see me using this one. But I'm also going to, but when I get a little bit more money, I'm going to upgrade this one to a Canon. So then that way you guys can see what it's like and I'm still going to keep this one but this one is going to be used for mostly for photos because I like taking photos so and it's pretty good because I can take photos and also um, like vlog on it as well so you guys can see that but I'm going to be vlogging mostly on this cam on the on the big camera so, oh yeah, I forgot it doesn't matter. So, um, this is the reason why this camera doesn't work, is because if you look at it, uh, yeah, you can zoom in. So, at the moment, so if you guys can see, like, this, um, yeah, so I'm going to, when I'm out and about with friends, I'm going to be using this, this one, this one you see right here, I'm going to be using this one. And then, so guys, I've just edited four hours of um, a look back on 2016 video. I'm uploading right now, so that's good. Um, the reason why I did a look back is because I wanted to show you guys how this year, how last year was amazing. And this year is going to be even more fun because this year I'm going to actually pass my driving theory test and also my my driving test. I'm going to get myself a car. I'm going to get myself signed up to the gym because I need to lose this weight or I might do it at home, depending. But I need to, I've been really not well. I need to sort out my back problems and um, hopefully find a solution to everything. I'm going to have a bath because I need to chill out. But, yeah, I don't really use any bath bombs. I just kind of chill out in the bath and just go and relax. So, I hope you, I'm going to see you all in about...
So guys, I am watching, uh, I think it's Inmates, uh, a Netflix TV show that's in, in America, it's a documentary. And it basically what it does, it show oh yeah, lock up, um, women behind bars, and it basically kind of shows you what it's like to be a woman behind bars in a prison. It's actually quite good considering I want to do criminology, law and criminology, I've got to, I'm going to be around people who have done things that, that I've, that I just, but you've got to think of them as, as like they're not in the right mind or they're not in the right state or probably they didn't mean to do it. And so you basically got to look at, you've got to look at like, um, if I do law, I've got to look at like a case, case and stuff like that, and by like right, so which one? So is this law? No, is it is it a crime and stuff like that? But it's actually quite good, and it teaches you a lot about how to avoid prison. Like, don't do soliciting, don't do drugs, and don't kill someone. Seriously, three things. <laughs> Kids today should abide by, and also young people as well, and anyone should abide by it is, one, don't solicit, which means no, like, prostitutes, two, don't do drugs, and three, don't, don't kill. As much as you want to kill someone, don't do it. Plan it, think, think about it in your head, and then let it happen in your head, but don't do it in real life, okay? That's how, that's how I do it, but... It's quite, it's quite good, and I'm on episode five at the moment. Um, I'm also going to show you one thing. I've been reading, I've been reading, um, like crime novels, and I've been reading Death in Oslo by Annie, by Anne Holt, and it's about a. Let's have a look. So, um, Here it goes. And yeah, so it's Helen Barclay, the first female president of the United States, has been kidnapped on a state visit to Norway, it is up to the FBI and the Norwegian police to work together to find her. But their enemy is far more powerful than they could ever imagine. Now I actually do like this book, I've read a couple of pages of it already. I'm, o I'm, o I'm only on chapter one because I've not been reading that much. But it's quite good if you want to get into like the whole crime. I've also got another book which I got for Christmas. Which I'm gonna show you guys because my mum my mum got me a book that I think is really good. So it's called So the author is Sophie Hannah, right? And this is what it is. A game for all the family. So um, after escaping London and a career that nearly destroyed her, Justine plans to spend her days doing as little as possible in her beautiful home in Devon. But soon after the move, her daughter Ellen starts to withdraw when her new best friend George is unfairly expelled from school. And Justine begs the head teacher to reconsider, only to be told that nobody has been expelled. There is and was no George. Then the anonymous calls, anonymous calls, a stranger start making threats that, that suggest she and Justine share a traumatic past and a guilty secret. Yet Justine doesn't recognise her voice when the caller starts to talk about three graves. Too big and one small to fit a child. Justine fears for her family secret. If the police can't help, 
She'll have to eliminate the danger herself, but first she must work out who she's supposed to be. I like... I've not even read this one. It's, from what I from what I gathered, it's... Um, it's quite good, actually. It's um, based... It's written in Devon. It's... And it's... And it's quite good actually because I'm writing a crime mystery and thriller novel. We're well, trying to. I'm on chapter. I'm writing chapter seven, but I'm a bit. I'm struggling. So yeah. So I'm gonna watch Lock Up, Run Behind Bars, and then at nine o'clock I'm gonna go on Thursday and watch Sherlock. So what I would do is I will end this vlog today, and I'll see you all tomorrow. With another daily vlog, and hopefully, tomorrow we will have information about what is going on with my bag so I can keep you guys in a loop.